that's been uh, requested a lot from me so without further ado let's get into it this video is to work around a glitch that affects the newest Macs with the Intel so I'm talking about the MacBook Pro 16 inch and I'm talking about the iMac and if you've got the 5700 XT or the lower ones 5500 XT and uh, 5300 uh, so if you've got any of those graphic cards in it and it, you're getting affected by this uh, this is a workaround but before we get to this point you need to do a few things so first of all I'll have that in the comments so I've got a link to my video which you need to do and do a DFU reset and things like that for uh, the, these this to work so then and I've, I've also got the link of that video at the end of this video as well so without further ado let's say you've what you need to do is follow that video till about the part where you do the DFU uh, uh, removal of the uh, graphics and then restarting the computer once you've restarted it with no drivers so what I want you to do is go to bootcamp drivers.com obviously because this is a bootcamp drivers video let it load because my internet is slow and you guys might not notice note that I've updated my computer to Mac OS Big Sur big woo okay but I waited around for about two months now I finally pulled the gun so far I'm really happy with it a lot of people are saying that they're having issues with the HDMI out not working but I'm actually on HDMI what happened was I had to restart the monitor and I had a, a mini display port connected as well so I had to remove the mini display port and it detected the HDMI my problem was with the monitor I'm using the LG still uh, the gaming monitor the 27 GL 850 B let me know if you guys want to know more about that but without further ado what I want you guys to do is go to downloads don't click on it hover on it go to the Windows 10 go to 2020 drivers and I want you to go all the way down to April okay and if you have the Mac uh, any of those Mac I as from the other videos I always suggest downloading blue and this has been uh, told as well so this if you go to known issues so if you look at here so blue edition so blue edition is the best for gaming it does say the other edition is better but uh, to me definitely get the blue edition even for the XT and uh, 5500 and things like that now let's without uh, getting hung up in this too much let's go back to downloads I've tried it with August I've tried with everything okay so what I want you guys to do is first of all download the blue edition so blue enterprise this one here April 2020 download that and then I want you to do a download of the December the latest one whatever the latest one is do April and do with the latest one okay and all I want you to guys to do with that is I want you to go into finder uh, or I mean not finder in your file browser in Windows this needs to be done under Windows okay so then you go into wherever you've downloaded it and you need to go into drivers and what I want you to do is basically install the April drivers first I've done red but you'll have blue so go in there and I want you to run the exe do that don't do a factory reset if you want I would suggest a factory reset which will make you restart the computer and then when you restart and log in it'll just continue with the update after the update is done I would highly recommend to turn the computer off okay do not restart turn it off finish it turn it off after you've done that I want you to go back and I want you to go into the folder where you have the blue December or whatever the latest one is so first very important April one you need to install after you've done that now factory reset I'm highly recommended for the April one so fresh install you don't have any drivers you've removed everything then after everything is done I want you to install the latest drivers and go into the setup and run it but do not factory reset it at all okay 
which will let it install and then again shut it down do not restart shut it down do not run anything shut it down and watch that other video of mine that I've linked in the end and left in the comments definitely watch that but run this and this will make sure I've tested this on my MacBook Pro with the 5500 MacBook Pro with the 5600 I've tested it on my iMac with the 5700 XT and I have tested it with the eGPU uh, Tai Chi uh, which I'll have in the end as well uh, have a look at that graphics card I've got a Asus tai, uh, Astrop Tai Chi RX 5800 XT eGPU connected to my MacBook Pro and it's worked with that now having said that I did find so this is the version that you'll have okay however if you guys go to uh, let's say AMD driver support okay and if you guys just go to there and let's say for my my case uh, I'm, I'm not using uh, the dedicated GPU so let's say if you were using the dedicated GPU so you'll go into Mac and Apple boot camp okay and then just submit and let's see what drivers it'll have so it, it comes up with like really old drivers it's released back in October okay so that's why the boot camp drivers would be really good okay because you'll get you're getting the latest and greatest now going back so it's 20.12.1 okay which was released uh, around the 8th of December okay and they've updated on the 12th okay made a boot camp version of it now let's go in my scenario where I'm using the 5800 XT and submit that okay Windows 10 bang okay so there's a more updated version for that 20.12.2 okay I did find between Mac boot uh, between using boot camp and Mac uh, boot camp drivers uh, custom drivers and between using this one this was released on the 8th 18th so 8th and 18th for there there's a 10-day uh, difference I found this to be more stable for my eGPU than the uh, bootcamp drivers but for any scenario where I was using my iMac without an eGPU the 5700 XT the bootcamp drivers was a lot better uh, it wasn't stable for my 5800 XT it kept dropping and I was turboing it as well so it didn't work that well anyways guys this is the end of the video um yeah i uh, hope you guys liked it uh this was a bit rushed uh i wanted to get this out to you guys sorry if it's uh, too rushed but anyways so yeah so if you're using an eGPU and using the latest amd uh, graphics card that otherwise boot camp drivers for all you other guys this is the workaround that i have been asked for this is the way to have all those glitches removed and things like that i've got the video of the glitch as well and things like that as well all right guys uh, thanks for watching and that's basically it from me all right guys so if you want to see more videos and support the channel and you like this video please give me a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also check out my twitter instagram and patreon accounts that helps a lot if you follow them and contribute there thanks so much take care bye